Is a 99 driving layup actually good on 2K24? Today, I'm on a floor spacing slasher James Harden type build, and he just got traded today, so lucky me, right? But look, the badges are not just Hall of Fame whistle for layup. You get Hall of Fame spin cycle, two-step, pro touch, float game, scooper, and you see whistle increases the chance of drawing a foul when attacking the rim or shooting a jump shot. Now, if you are able to get this badge to a higher tier, you might as well grind it out because look, you see the badge level for whistle will not rise or fall in city games so you might as well get it up and then we also have hall of fame fearless finisher and hall of fame slithery with gold blow by so today we're going to be testing out a lot to see if layup is really kind of a meta on 2k24 can you really ball out with just having a high layup let's hop into it man drop a like and let's get it Finesse finishing was said to get a huge upgrade in 2K24, so that's really what we're testing out along with Hall of Fame Whistle. So your Euro steps, your spin layups, your acrobats, everything like that is supposed to be much better on this game. So I grinded out this build for y'all so we can really see the max potential. But first play of the game, I get a scuba layup. And if y'all don't know, man, scuba layups are insanely good on 2K24. So if you don't know how to activate that like every time, you definitely need to go into the controls and figure it out. I'm not kidding. On the fast break, hitting a little Euro contested, but it don't matter. 35% greening. We're throwing our hands up in the air. Hall of Fame whistle looking like James Harden already getting to the free throw line and greening the free throw. I do have a 61 free throw, so it's not going to be going in all the time. I probably should have went higher. And y'all see they got one AI on the other team, but it doesn't matter because AIs are super good this year. Anyway, on the fast break, throw in the lob, and we start this game out 7-0. We thought, you know, you could see right here it's probably going to be a blowout, but it definitely wasn't because they come down and get a dunk of their own. And we are in the squads wreck, by the way, so I'm guessing they came in with four because you when you come in with four, it gives you an AI because it's squads wreck, so you can't come in with just four because there's one player. You know what I'm saying. That's why they do that. Anyway, Dot and Jay Curry, and he's going to miss on the hash. Now, do I think that it should do that? No, but that's just how it goes. They're going to get a fast break bucket, and now it's seven to four. So as a guard, it it is painful to see people miss when you dot them wide open but i'm getting the scooper and man the scooper layups are so so good finesse finishing on 2k24 if you know how to do it correctly can really help you out on this game if you guys have not noticed yet learning when should i do a spin when should i do a float or things like that jay curry's open again but misses the shot they're running the break and now it's nine to eight man as a guard Y'all know the pain of that, man. If you're a guard watching this video, it does suck. But hey, I'm hitting Yogg's in the corner. He's about to work out of it, hit me back, and we're just taking it slow. I'm trying to hit Jay Curry. They're jumping. I probably should have took that layup right there. But look, I'm going to set it up. I see. I'm like, I'm wide open. Okay, pull up. Chicken, just like that. Look how smooth that jumper is. That's from 2K Labs, by the way. Link is in the description. It's like $5 a month. They give you all the codes on the inside of the game that the grades don't show you in the game. So your green windows and things like that, advanced stuff that can really help you green a lot on this game. And it's going to help you shoot a lot better. Link is in the description. But you see, Remedy is greening a fadeaway three with a lockdown. I think he has like a 78 three-pointer, but he does have like a 90 mid-range. And look, oh my gosh, two-step slithery acrobat now after all these games i do have acrobat hall of fame so you see this man grinning a 20 percent as i'm trying to run back down the court and they are just non-stop not giving up and bro acrobat is really good as well but you see i'm dribbling around taking my time and i'm gonna hit raptor on the slip make some jump takes the layup now these guys were locked in just like we were look over the heads of the defenders wide open ai they are calling it out i don't know why because the ai can really hit buckets in this game so we almost get the steal then it's gonna go down and they get a bucket off that bro look back and forward back and forward no cuts i've got finishing takeover that's what i'm popping in most of these uh you know clips that you guys will see finishing takeover man is really nice but remedy is hitting another fade away five percent contested 
not easy out of that corner you gotta love it my dimer is is also working you know a few steps in so if you guys didn't know that dimer does work but it gets the steal and we're on the fast break 22 to 15 it's just been relentless scoring so far not the best defense y'all says wide open hits the fade away and we are having an amazing offensive quarter we just gotta you know get a few stops because they're definitely staying in it i've got silver off ball pests as well on this build silver clamps and look at the ai eight <sighs> percent contested man ais are amazing bro if you could literally load up like say you got three people and i could pick hey i want two ais since we don't got five i would take two ais like they're actually that good as long as of course they would stay down but look at the floater look i'm telling y'all bro if you know when to do things like when to do a floater when to do a euro when to do a spin layup you could actually put in some work on this game now 99 layup is it worth it to go all the way to 99 i'm gonna tell you guys because of course this is a, a content build you know i made it to show you guys the exact full power of layup you probably don't need to go to 99 right but layup is very cheap on 2k24 if you guys did not know layup post control mid-range is cheaper than your uh three-pointer and you see at the end of that first quarter man we are just like not missing but yogs is going to miss this first shot right here and this is where it's going to get rough okay this is where it's going to start getting rough because i swear this game has so much momentum and people don't talk about it mike wing will deny it till he croaks but i'm telling y'all look jay curry's gonna miss the same dunk right there they get the foul and look bro driving layup when you go up to a 99 you actually don't get anything but hall of fame whistle at the 99 you see me doing the spin layup so i would not go 99 driving layup okay don't do it and look right here i missed my first shot of the game that's an example of a very bad read you know i'm trying to do a finesse finishing like i told y'all and that was a terrible read i tried to do a floater for what reason i don't know and also at 97 driving layup i believe you don't get anything either okay so it's very important to understand like what you can get when you're going up on layup because you don't necessarily need a 99 right so 97 is where you get hall of fame slithery and that is the max that i would do i wouldn't do 98 or 99 unless you guys for some reason really want hall of fame whistle i mean y'all will see in this gameplay it does actually give you more free throws which is crazy but at the end of the half right here We've got, you know, I'm seven for nine, 16 points, nine assists. We're playing really good offense, but yes, guys. So like, like I said, man, you can get in the Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher at 96. You get Hall of Fame Slithery at 97. I would not go 99. I want to make sure you guys know because on these test build videos, people sometimes don't understand. Like on my 45 three-pointer, there were some people saying, oh, you're getting people to waste money. Like, no, we are testing if you can shoot with a 45 three. I'm not telling nobody to make it. So yes, what I would do, like I said, is go 97 at the very max and then get other things because I don't know. It hasn't been tested what 97 to 99 if it helps you hit way more contested or not. Who knows? But but I will say from 97 to 99, it will go up in overall. You see me splashing a three again. So it will drag your overall up high. So it's expensive. For some reason, the game knows that it's an expensive attribute to go there, even though you don't get anything. So it might be like 99 three pointers, what I'm saying. So I make him jump take the standing dunk now if y'all haven't seen the stats from 2k labs 95 to 99 three-pointer actually is a big difference in the terms of like the end of your green window and things like that so that's what i'm saying that's the full you know talking about what you should do with layup if you want to go really high let's you know lock into the gameplay so you see we're trolling i got teammates that are trolling a little bit you can just tell you know we're doing spin shots and i don't like it man because now we're missing I'm telling y'all, momentum is in this game. And when people start trolling, it just throws everything off. Like, they're not like, you know, throwing up full court shots and stuff, but not taking the game fully serious. And now they're getting a foul on the three point shot. He hits all of the free throws and it's a 10 point game. So we get a great brick wall right there. I throw a back door and well, it just doesn't work. I get my first turnover of the game. He's shooting a three right over my head. And now it's a seven point game. I man, it's ho oh, ho. It's frustrating as a guard when you're just, you know, you're really locking in, right? I'm hitting Jay Curry wide open and he hits a shot. You're locked in, you're controlling the offense, you're controlling the momentum, you're not getting turnovers, you're hitting people wide open, you're scoring, and then you get some trolling in there. Some people that's not taking it fully serious and then the momentum swings and 
you guys know how it goes from there. So anyway, they're getting the rebound out to the AI, and they don't miss. The AIs are gods. They are actually gods on this game. 54 to 47. Now it's a seven point game. I'm going down with the hop layup. And man, bro, I can tell you guys right now, like high layup actually is something that you could use on 2K24. I'm serious. Now look, you tell me if that's a wide open dot or not. I think that was. Anyway, it goes back to me. I'm playing hot potato back to remedy. And he's gonna miss a shot. Yeah, he's gonna miss a shot. So nine point game. Y'all see, bro, literally as soon as the trolling started, then they started getting momentum. But luckily, I get a stop in the corner, and that's going to end that horrific third quarter that could have been really bad for us. I think finally, we're starting to get a little bit of our momentum back, and here we go. Once again, I'm trying to control the game, make sure we win the game, because that's what I care about at all costs. That's a little James Harden assist right there, you know, just throw it down, bang. Down to MB. Well, he's not on, you know, the Sixers anymore. Y'all let me know if you think that Harden is going to be successful on the Clippers because they look like they got a pretty good team right now. But ah, I go down and take a bad layup. You'll see in a minute because I actually get the animation I wanted in a minute, but that just didn't get the animation I wanted right there. And I'm going to take up a smothered shot. It looks bad. Okay, it looks rough. Now, Yogg is in the corner taking, uh, you know, a little bit contested shots. It said open, but that is like 1% to 6% contested. And then Jay Curry is going to miss a shot. And uh, the ball, I don't even think the ball touched me right there. But luckily, they missed wide open. And look at this, bro. Y'all is going to run down the court. You know, I'm trying to get the ball, make it safe and secure. He just wants to dribble around. He wants to shoot. We're not taking the game fully serious, you know. And here we go. I finally touched the ball with 11 seconds left on the clock. Going down with the hot what i don't know how that was 17 percent contested bro but i missed it and luckily raptor puts the ball in the basket so you see right there just what momentum can do back door uh that wasn't really a part of my zone obviously we're in the zone we're playing fives and uh and maybe i should have followed it but usually you're not supposed to follow in the zone and look at this look at harden bro drawing the foul but uh, like i said i got a 61 free throw i don't play wreck a lot i missed both free throws you guys let me know, is it me or like you really just can't hit consistent free throws this year with a low free throw rating? Is it the free throw I have on because it's just the normal one or default, whichever one it puts on, you know what I'm saying? But I've been, I've been hearing of people missing free throws with like a 90. So you guys let me know, man, if you know any tips about that because I'm starting to get into rec this time of the year. And look, Jay Curry's missing wide open again, bro. I would have, if I didn't show you, you know, if I didn't make any cuts, I'd probably have like 20 to 20, like if my teammates made every shot, I'd probably have like 25 assists, but look at the scooper, I should have around like 18 to 20 assists, but we're just missing, man, it's just how it is sometimes, and they're getting a layup, 11 point game, two minutes left, I'm trying to just, you know, make sure we win, like I said, going behind the bat, you see, I'm not just rushing, you know, I throw it down to Raptor, he gets the, oh my gosh, beautiful standing dunk animation, and once again, I'm popping, finishing takeover, we get in the steal, and now I'm starting to see that they're a little bit rattled, pulling up again, and I have not missed, three for three, like I said, man, 2K Labs will help you guys with the jump shots a lot, link is in the description, use my code to get 20% off, it's only like five bucks a month, but you see me going down, and oh my god gosh bro 20 percent contested you love to see it if you guys like watching basketball man look at this that's the animation i tried to get before where i shot a smothered and i make a 45 i'm 14 for 19 32 points 12 assists but let's hop into this next gameplay but like i well, like i was trying to say if you guys love basketball man you kind of really like this new edition where you can actually do layups this year and first play, we're getting the scooper. We get a steal. He flops. It almost gives him a turnover, and I'm ready. I am ready over there in the corner. Dope Boy's going to pull up on the fast break, miss it. I get a little cocky right here. I shoot it. It turns into an open, I think. No, actually, it was wide open, but I do miss my first three. I'm going down with the scooper, and that scooper looks nice, man. The fillet ups, bro. The fillet ups are beautiful. Look at this, bro. Look how nice that looks. Like, if you like basketball, you like seeing that. Now, are they a little kind of crazy sometimes? Yes, for sure. But look, oh my gosh, bro. In the middle of three people. Now, something I learned is as you start to dominate in these games, right? You see me dotting my boy in the corner. He's going to green that shot. You seen right there, three people dropped. We got the scooper in the middle of them. If you actually had like a high layup and high pass accuracy, you could do some like bailout type of shots out of those layups and you could probably be really deadly 
with a play style like that like high pass accuracy high layup and then you know have a little bit of three pointer a little bit of defense if you can squeeze some in there i get blocked hit remedy in the corner and he's grinning now these guys we blew out i mean it's an absolute loss it's just a highlight reel you know what i'm saying but the last game was really close like down to the wire and you see he's leaving me wide open so i'm like okay pull up chick bro chick money don't leave james harden open the jump shot is butter look how smooth that thing looks and we're just dominating you see fast break fast break green remedies locked in in the corner he was locked in the whole day besides that spin shot and you know whatever he was doing for a minute but i make him jump and look at this acrobat oh my gosh it looks so weird but hey i gotta do it i gotta i gotta throw some sauce in there now, now look they play good defense right here played good defense again and then that's when you do a spin layup when he's on your hip you hit him with the spin layup 11 percent contested it's too easy out here it's too easy look i'm just slithering right by him so my full answer is slithery is very or just high layup in general as you see me doing another scuba right there high layup is actually a useful uh attribute and it's also very cheap it's look at come on now come on now now obviously you have to know when to do it but i think man look at this bro i mean it was just nasty out here but high layup is really good when you know what to do it could almost i would even say it could be meta like not meta as in the best meta right but you could put it a part of a meta team like a very good team that's going out there and wanting to win every game i feel like you could have high layup and look 40 percent contested we got gold whistle in this gameplay like i said and yeah i think you could win obviously i don't know if you should go 97 driving layup like i said but having it pretty high you see how i'm just sliding through people hall of fame fearless finisher is beautiful making them jump taking the little quick i don't know kind of teardropper type layup i'm doing a, a floater right here and yeah i honestly think that you could put this a part of a high efficient winning team you know what i'm saying like a real good team like 90 win percent maybe if you went like the absolute meta like a six six you know three hunting type thing you could win a little bit more but this could really really be a part of it, of your game for a lot of people and we were just dominating this game end of the third quarter i got 35 points 12 assists and uh i was having fun bro i was having a lot of fun as y'all can hear just in my voice but you can see in the gameplay i'm going down take it it, just, it looks so nice i don't know how to explain it besides just it looks beautiful and they look i'm draw, i'm drawing the foul just like james harden and i don't get the first one to go and the second one goes in thankfully ah man those free throws are actually stressful like they're actually uh you know harder than taking a wide open jump shot at least with that free throw that i have on so maybe i need to get a little bit better at practicing my free throws or maybe it's just harder this year look at this floater look at this floater bro open open that said open hall of fame float game is crazy you see we're just running the break i mean running it over and over we talked about this before i'm a team first player i get my assist i pass to my team when they're open but look i will cheese it, you call it cheese you know whatever you want to say if the other team is not making shots i'm running that's not my fault y'all can't make a shot i'm getting buckets out here okay i'm getting i'm padding my stats i'm running down and now we got a 50 point game we got 50 points, 12 assists, literally looking like a prime James Harden on the Rockets, making people cry about his ISO, making the announcers cry, if y'all know what I'm talking about. And look, bro, we're running one more fast break. And I'm like, oh, floater. Nope. But we got one more play left in the game. I got my two-way tenacity going. And check this out, man. Just going down, spin layup right there. And there we go, bro. 56 point game, man. Click this video right here if you want to learn how to shoot better on 2K24, man. Click this video if you're having trouble shooting on 2K24. This one will help you out a lot. It's got like 15 tips in there. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, but I'm about to be out of here. So, click it, tap it, whatever you got to do. I don't know why you're still listening to me because I'm about to be out. Click it, and I'm gone.